Okay, question one of the Edexcel Higher paper two from June of 2012. We've got ABC and DEF are parallel lines. Uh, VEG is a straight line, and the angle GEF is 47 degrees. We're asked to work out the size of the angle marked X and give reasons for your answer. Okay, now when we're given a question like this, one of the tips I often give my students is to fill in as much information as possible before I even attempt to work out what the angle X is. Um, another uh, tip I often give is to cover up various parts of the diagram just to make things a bit clearer. So suppose I was to cover all of this part and now I can see I've got a straight line here and that's 47 degrees which means that the angle here must be 130 Three degrees. Similarly, if I was to cover this side, I can see I've got another straight line here, and that's 47 degrees. So this must be 133. What else can I fill in? Well, I can see that these two angles here are vertically opposite, which means that that is. 47 degrees and then the angle X and the angle here at 133 are alternate angles which means that this must be 133 degrees so let's let's get rid of this and see if we can fill in or give reasons for our answer okay so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to say the angle DEB D E B so it's this angle here DEB equals 47 degrees as its vertically opposite. G E F. And then I'm going to say angle A B E, which is what we're looking for. A, B, E, which is X, equals 133 degrees as supplementary angles add to 180 degrees. So supplementary angles form a C shape in parallel lines. So in this case it's a, it's a backwards C. So there's your backwards C and those two angles must add to 180 degrees because they're supplementary. Another reason we could have given for 133 degrees is that ABE, so if I ABE and BEF are alternate angles, and alternate angles are always the same. Alternate angles, you're looking for that Z shape. So there's a couple of reasons. Uh, a third reason we might have is that. Let's get the color right here. Angle uh, ABE and DEG -E form an F shape, and that means that these two angles here are corresponding to each other. 
So there's three reasons you could have given. Try and figure out what X is um, first and foremost and then write down the reasons for your answer.